Hi, I'm Emily Lobsons, director of Song of the Basques, and this is The Hot Set. Song of the Basques is an exploration of the Basque culture told through the personal stories of contemporary Basques and it weaves in and out of present and past day um, to give you an idea of how this culture survived the millennia to be you know one of the strongest of today. We moved to Spain after grad school sort of originally short term and ended up becoming seven years. I was living in Barcelona and got invited um, to come and run a race in um, Ordizia, which is a town in like the very center of the Basque country. And then I just kept going back. And every time I went, I would meet someone new or learn something new or go to a new place. And I just, I've traveled a lot, you know, in my life. And I knew, you know, I knew a lot of places. And I just, I, I was just floored by how there was just this like place that it was right in the middle of Europe. And there was thousands of stories. And it was so, you know, it was the ancient, culture and like I just didn't know that much about it and so just started learning about it for fun and started learning the language and then eventually just one day was like actually my little brother said it to me like why don't you make a movie about them you know <laughs> like you you're obsessed with this place and so I'd been living in Madrid and I was like well it's the same for me I'm working all over Europe I can you know live in San Sebastian so I moved to San Sebastian and just started shooting it was finished, like we finished cutting it together in 2011. And then like nothing happened with it. And it was, it actually, to be honest, wasn't like the exact film I wanted to make, but when we cut together the film I wanted to make, a lot of people were really confused. Um, Cause I wanted the stories to sort of weave in and out and sort of have these like core characters and, and, and documentary, I think documentary has changed and we've become more like, it's okay to be more creative with it now. Whereas then it was like, you have to, you know, like these are the rules and you have to have your three acts and it has, really people wanted issue driven films. At the same time I was making a film in Nicaragua that was total issue film, you know, it was about homeless street kid, like, and, and now it's just, everyone was funding that. So in a way it was awesome, but in a way I was like, oh my God, like my like passion project, everyone everyone's like, what are you talking, who cares, you know? We did a bunch of private screenings and there was such great response. And then I applied to a few, you know, big festivals and like got rejected across the board. And I'll, I didn't realize at the time that like, you know, that happens to everyone and like you have to keep, but so I kind of was like, okay, well, I don't know what I did. Like I made something that no one wants to see. And so there was sort of like this year and a half where it just sort of sat on a hard drive, which is what I said would never happen. I was like, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna make this film and only like, you know, my dad sees it. And that's when like, you know, all of a sudden like Vimeo and like VHX exist as like ways to distribute your work and everything changed. So I was like, well, you know what? I know there's thousands of people that want to see this film. So I'm gonna recut it the way I want it to be. And then when I did that, all of a sudden now it's like, oh, there's festivals that now want to see it. Also, people's ideas of what documentary is changed. So I'd kind of thought before, maybe, you know, I should have made a more traditional film as my first film and mm -hmm. then, uh, but, so yeah, I don't know. So it's also <laughs> funny because now I have like three films that all got finished within like a month and a half of each other. Oh wow. So people are like, wow, how did you do that? And I'm like, well, like, <laughs> I was like working my butt off, but also they all, one film took like, you know, eight months to make. The other one took like three, you know, two and a half years, and the other one took like six years. You know, yeah. so it's, it's, um, but yeah, you just have to, you have to be, you have to like, you have to be a long distance athlete. That's something I think everyone in the industry appreciates about each other is just that you know that like, you just have to keep going. You know, and people are gonna say no every day, <laughs> and it hurts every time, even when like. I bet you even when like, you know, like Sundance says yes and then you get rejected by like your town film festival, that still hurts, you know, so. Some of them were people I would just meet, like I would be at a market or I'd be, you know, um, go to an event to film it and then just start talking to people and you just, just certain people are just such strong characters, you know, and they would be open to it and other people I sought out, you know, like a famous musician or 
famous um, sculptor, uh, you know, who, you, who some of them, you know, most didn't take much convincing. One, he said, no way. And then when he found out I spoke Basque, he was like, oh, whatever you want. Like, what, you know, he just like, got such a kick out of that. And you just, you, you know, you go to watch something about dance and all of a sudden you start learning about like, I don't know, like mining. And you're like, whoa, there's just all these stories I haven't uncovered yet. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. So, um, but yeah, and then, and then there's a ton of characters that aren't in the film, but it's really because the casting like happened in the edit room, you know, mm -hmm. where we were just like, well, we had like a hundred characters and we can't make a film with that many. So we just sort of went through and sort of just like cut together scenes with each character and saw who really stood out and who had a great, which ones had a great story, which ones had strong personalities and people who really like, and then, you know, to make sure there's a diversity of topics covered. Um, that's how we really chose who was going to be the, the main cast, I mm -hmm. guess. I saw how all these stories like related on so many different levels and I'd, I'd actually seen it as something and I think I could still do this. Almost like it could be a film that's like a choose your own adventure film and I'm really into like interactive um, media. I think if you have really strong characters that are memorable. You can do that because people are like, they're not like, wait, why are we back here? They're like, oh, I'm back with this guy who was so amazing. Like, I yeah. want to hear more from him. So yeah, I mean, that was really what, how I found the story and just finding interesting visual and musical and thematic transitions between the characters was really the big challenge, mm -hmm. um, which is fun. But then you have like a thousand options because it's not like one thing doesn't have to happen after the other. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I mean, it's just, and I bet you if I went back and started editing it again in a week, I would come out with like another version of the film, you know? Like, I mean, it's, I mean, that's one thing that I think is interesting about the ways that you can put a project like this together is that it's not, I mean, they've been around for, the Basques have been around for thousands and thousands of years, so there's a lot of stories to tell and a lot of ways to tell it. And I think that's part of the reason I wanted to do something on the Basque culture in that style just because like their myth of themselves and like the outsider's myth of the Basques is just like none of it matches up mm -hmm. and everyone's aware that it's all myth but that part of partially forms the character of who they are which I think is true about like I learned that about America living that abroad that like we have this myth of who we are and even if we'd be like oh like you know I'm not a patriot or whatever we want to say about ourselves we still have this myth of like what it means to be an American and whether or not we live up to it. And I think every like culture and identity has that. And I think in the Basque country, they have it really intensely and in this very humble way. And I was really attracted to that. And I think that's what I wanted to capture most in the film was like this spirit and heart of the place. Um, and that's why I think it was so open-ended how I could make this project. <laughs> Esaten badu gauza bat, egin behar du. E, buru gogorra da. Like, I've traveled to so many incredible places and I really loved them and I would live, I would try living anywhere, you know? And just there, it was like, this is paradise to me. And I don't know why, because it's not like it's easy to live there. It's definitely not easy to make a career as a filmmaker. It rains all the time. Like, but, but it's just, and, and so that's something that, like, I just feel like I got this really special opportunity to like get this insight into this place and it's really important for me to share that with people. It changes people, you know, and that's exciting to me that people will watch the film. Like one woman said after watching it, like, you know, that she said, you know, I, watching that, like you see these people leading this life and it makes you want to, you get the feeling like they're just such like pure good people. You want to be that good of a person you know mm -hmm. and it's not like they're talking about morals or anything like that it's just like they're leading this life that is just so passionate and dedicated and so like holistically attached to like both who they are and what their environment is and and so um I think that's something in the film that like there's no way to you know make sure like just just did we articulate that properly it's more just like a spirit and I think that's what I want like people to like get and you know looking back like I could have done it totally different I could have made this like show that was much more traditional 
got the funding for that and then actually made the film I wanted to make, whatever. But I feel really lucky to have made it and I would, I would do it again. I'd probably do it differently, but, mm -hmm. you know. Gure kultura aztertzen ikusten ditugu bi parte. Parte bat originala dena, zarra dena, gurea dena, eta aldiz bigarren parte bat dela hartu duguna etorri diren edo guri inguran ibili diren kultura gozietatik. Onartu dugu, egokitu eta garatu, agian e, bertzen manera batean. Ez? Ich bin doch